Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. Prostate health, the importance of diet and nutritional supplements. You know, one of the best kept secrets in the world is that certain dietary behaviors and certain supplements can actually protect the prostate gland from enlargement and reduce your risk of prostate cancer very significantly and can even help to uh, better manage existing prostate cancer cases according to many human studies that have now been published in medical and peer-reviewed scientific journals. And many of these practices that we'll touch on have been shown to reverse prostate enlargement, which is a common problem. You know, in the Journal of the National Cancer Institute a few years ago, Walter Willett from Harvard University published data showing that 75% of all prostate cancer seems to be attributable to faulty dietary and lifestyle behaviors, not bad genes. And that prostate enlargement which accompanies the normal aging process can also be prevented and, re and reversed using a lot of dietary and supplement uh, uh, interventions. So 50% of men develop enlarged prostates by the age of 50 in our society. By age 80, 75 to 90% of men will develop a prostate enlargement problem that's significant. And we're up to 50% of men you know, who run into these problems end up seeking medical treatment because they're having such a hard time urinating. They're having really trouble uh, is symptoms resulting from prostate enlargement. So when the prostate enlarges, you know, it's, it's, it starts to squeeze the urethra so you can't urinate so easily. So men have trouble initiating urination. They have more frequent urination. They can't totally void the bladder, so they feel like they always have to go. They get up a few times through the night to urinate, and even then the, the urine stream is quite weak. In fact, one of the early signs of uh, a prostate enlargement is sort of a weaker urine stream, so be on the lookout for that. So why does it occur? Well, after the age of 40, it seems that the prostate cells start to convert more testosterone into a more dangerous kind of testosterone called DHT, or dihydrotestosterone. As you build up DHT, the cells of the prostate divide at a faster rate, so you get a greater mass. Now the prostate is enlarging, putting pressure on the urethra harder to urinate. And when the cells are dividing faster, there's a greater chance they'll make genetic mistakes that will lead to cancer as well. At the same time, if you gain some abdominal fat, that fat secretes more estrogen, and estrogen slows down the breakdown of DHT, which raises the levels even higher, the prostate divides faster, and the problem is worse. So the pharmaceutical companies have made drugs. They've made uh, drugs like Avidart and Proscar, which help to, to slow the conversion of testosterone into DHT. And they also have drugs that will relax the muscular coat around the neck of the bladder and the prostate just to ease some of the pressure so you can urinate more easily. But some of these drugs have been shown to have some side effects that are, not, that, you know, are you know, a, a bit challenging at times. It's not that the drugs aren't good, but the truth is that diet, the right diet and the right supplement program can be of great assistance in preventing prostate enlargement, reversing mild to moderate prostate enlargement, and even helping to prevent prostate cancer and even better managing prostate cancer problems. So they can even be used along with drugs and they have fewer side effects than the drugs and have these amazing anti-cancer properties. So the dietary constituents and supplements that are, are really important do several things. They can block the buildup of DHT by inhibiting the enzymes that convert testosterone into dihydrotestosterone. They can create an estrogen blockade so estrogen can't get into the prostate so easily. That's helpful. And they can stop too much testosterone from getting into the prostate gland in the first place as well. Some of these constituents and some of these supplements and foods have been shown to actually, if prostate cancer cells are developing, encourage them to actually commit suicide, program cell death, known medically as apoptosis. Some of these agents are antioxidants to go into the prostate gland that produce tremendous antioxidant effects and stop free radical damage from creating gene mutations linked to cancer. Some of these constituents slow down the rate at which prostate cells divide. That's always a good idea. Some of these help the, the prostate cells mature into more adult cells. The more adult the cell is, the more differentiated it is, the less likely it's going to become a cancer cell. And these dietary factors and supplements have other important effects as well. Things that drugs alone can't do, that's what I'm saying. So using the right dietary and supplementation approach is vitally important for men to consider as part of overall wellness management. So 
what I've done is I've created an ebook that explains all of this. Why did I do that? Because most medical doctors don't study very much nutrition or natural medicine in school, so they often don't explain this during your annual physical exam. The Prostate Cancer Society doesn't really, they do a great job of, of creating uh, awareness for getting uh, your PSA tested to see if you have prostate cancer. If you catch it early, that's a good thing. But they don't really explain that dietary and lifestyle factors and supplements are proven methods to help support prostate health over your lifetime. So you need to know the details because death from prostate cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death in this part of the world and many, many men develop prostate enlargement problems. So you need to know how to support your prostate. So I put all the information together in an ebook. It's called Natural Remedies for Prostate Enlargement, Prostatitis, and Prostate Cancer Prevention. It's available right here. If you're a man, download it right now and look at the information. All the, the scientific references are there so you know it's accurate information and pay heed to the recommendations that are made. Now remember that at machinohealth.com you'll see my other research review papers, other videos I've created, footage from my live professional seminars, other downloads and resources that are there. And I put them there to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life so you know what you're doing. And all the research papers and teaching materials have all my scientific references in them so you know you're getting only sound scientific, evidence-based information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So make sure that you use machinohealth.com as an ongoing reliable health and wellness resource for both you and your family members. Thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.